Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Sophie Patterson, interior designer based in the UK. If you're looking for more regular updates, you can also follow us on Instagram at Sophie Patterson Interiors. So today we have a really exciting video for you. We're going to be doing some site visits. They're two beautiful properties in London and you're going to be joining Brett and Anthony in the townhouse project and Vanessa in another one of our projects. And then stick with the video because at the very end, I'm gonna be sharing a little sneak peek of an update at my own home that I haven't shown anywhere else. So I hope you enjoy it. Before we head over into London to look at our projects, I wanna say thank you to today's video sponsor, Ritual. Being a busy working mum, I can often feel a little bit tired and under the weather. And although I do eat healthily and I exercise, I feel that it's always good if you can take an extra supplement just to make sure you're not missing any gaps in your diet. What I love about Ritual is the fact that they're really high quality ingredients. Often when I go to the shops and I look at multivitamins and supplements, I just feel overwhelmed and I don't know where to start and I end up not buying anything and so I'm not even taking a supplement. The multivitamin that I'm taking is called Essential for Women and this contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to Omega-3, all of which are difficult to get enough of every day, even with a healthy diet. Better health doesn't happen overnight, but I like knowing that I'm taking all the supplements that I need. And right now, Ritual is offering 20% off your first month using the code SOPHIEP20 and the link in the description box. So it's a great time to get started. We are here at our Kensington project. We've come today to do a site visit and kind of see where things are. My name's Vanessa, senior designer at Sophie Patterson, and yeah, we're excited to show you around. We are currently in the drawing room. Um, so this will be kind of the grand entertaining space, but also a space for the clients to hang out and relax in, so it's multi-purpose. Um, so currently we're, you know, we're getting there, all the walls have been prepared, all the electrical has been brought in, um, but we're still waiting on the wood floors to go in and we've selected this incredible Versailles um, pattern, like inspired wood floor, so that is going to be a showstopper. And then as well the fireplace mantles, we did a really ornate carved marble um, fireplace, so I'm very excited to see those. They're going to be quite tall and just extremely grand, which you know totally fits into the room with the beautiful ceiling. And then we've got all these boxes, and this is the beginning of our kitchen going in. So this is all the internals. Um, we selected a dark wood for the internals, and then on the external, it's a mixture of wood and white cabinetry. So it's gonna be quite a beautiful kitchen. So we've got an amazing um, stone floor happening in the entrance hall that's a diamond pattern. And then we took one of the stones and used that for our kitchen floor. So it kind of carries in, but is a little more simple in the kitchen. So you can see it has gone in. It is all protected right now, but here is a little um, snippet of it. And it's a Taj Mahal marble, and it's got this gorgeous brown and cream and gray um, veining running through. So that will tie into the wood and white cabinetry that is going in the kitchen. So we're now in the guest bedroom and currently the clients are unsure about the wallpaper we've selected and we think it's the right choice. So luckily our supplier lent us this massive sample. So we're going to hang it up on the wall so the clients can kind of see it in the space and get a sense of the color actually in the room rather than just kind of what we presented. So it's a gorgeous linen, kind of pale blue, um, paper, so we love it. We just need to now convince our clients it's the right move, so. One of the architectural features of this home is these absolutely gorgeous archways throughout. So we're kind of using that as an inspiration and when we've created some new doorways, uh, this is the space between the master dressing and the master bedroom. We've been using arch doors, which we think just is a really nice way to kind of tie in what was original and what is new. And as you walk through here, you get to the master bedroom, 
which is a very exciting space. It's extremely calming. Um, we're actually using Sophie's new uh, wallpaper with Fromental, the uh, oak leaf pattern that was in Masterpiece. And it's hand embroidered with kind of silk um, detailing on the leaves and it's gonna go across the entire headboard wall here. And then in this kind of seating area, or in this window niche here, we're doing a big uh, window bench. So that can be used as a sofa for watching TV if you're in the bedroom or just hanging out and reading a book. It kind of acts as a, a chaise lounge window seat situation. And then across this entire wall here, we're doing um, some custom joinery with a reeded marble fireplace, um, TV above, some open shelving and really bringing in some um, we're using a high gloss material, which is exciting, so it'll really reflect all the light, and then bringing in some antique brass elements and um, some reading as well. And then creating this kind of fake, we're doing a fake door into the master bathroom, so you won't necessarily see the door. It'll be incorporated into the joinery and makes it a little more discreet. So what our project's in Chelsea, um, it's a project we've recently took on, um, on a very quick turnaround and it's, um, it's going under a light refurbishment, changing some of the wall finishes, completely furnishing the house from top to bottom um, and it's going to be a very fun project. <laughs> Olive's good, she's a little bit of a pickle at the moment, um, just turned six months old so she's into everything. We are in the first floor drawing room of our project in Chelsea. Um, so Brett and I are gonna come in here. We've got a few measurements to take, just to double check before we place some of the important item orders, such as bespoke rugs. Um, and then we can talk you through some of, the, some of the schemes, show you some of the elevations and the color schemes just so you can get a real good feel for the project. I was gonna say our gracious drawing room. This is, this is the very grand drawing room. Um, of the project. So we've got um, two really large sofas in a beautiful, um, like a green velvet. We're really into green velvet at the minute, aren't we? Um, and they're going to be stunning. We're going to lift the colour on the walls slightly so it's a little bit brighter. Our window treatments will be spread wider than the window, um, so it'll let in a lot more light because right now these kind of suck out the light as it's just as it's coming in, which isn't great. Um, we've got two beautiful armchairs here and here. We've, we're really into um, you know, asymmetry at the moment because you know, I think, although it's nice to have your elevation matchy matchy, we think you can create a lot of good balance by having uh, you know, items mismatched. So here we've got a, um, a bookcase, which next to it we've got a cute little piece of uh, ceramic layered artwork, and then some floor lamps and, and planting below. Um, and then on the other side there, we've got two lovely pieces of artwork, which are coming in from America. And then we've got a plinth, which is gonna have a plant on. And then just next to that, we've got a side table and table lamp. So it's gonna, it's, it sounds quite mismatched, but when you see the elevation, you'll see it makes great sense. And then in the middle there, just to kind of enhance the height of the room, we've gone for a lovely tall mirror, um, which is gonna really bounce the light around and just create a lovely light and airy feel. And this is a grade two listed building? It is, it's grade two listed. So in terms of things that we um, we can change, we can't really change a lot without getting planning permission. But you know what you can do things is like decorate. So you'll see a lot of this woodwork is this quite cream colour which you know for a lot of people is lovely but our client um, is really into like bright white colours so we're going to paint all the woodwork white, we're going to decorate the walls so they're a lighter finish as well which is just going to give it an overall lift. Quite a few years ago now we worked on a, a little, uh, you know quite a small uh, townhouse in Chelsea um, and very much the living room was you know you there was room for a sofa a coffee table and then your fireplace is right in front of you. Some, I would say a lot smaller, yes. half this space and yeah. width. But, you know, we, we, we were very fortunate on that one that we got to go bespoke on a lot of the pieces because that really helped us, um, you know, get the most out of the space. And, you know, the client was really, really happy with it, weren't they? And, and we were like, <laughs> it sounds really, sounds really silly, we do this all the time. But we were turning up to the furniture installation and walking around and we're like, Oh, this works really well, doesn't it? Oh, this is really good. And oh, this is nice, isn't it? Because, you know, there was a bay window in the living room and we, 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 designed, we fully designed the sofa from scratch, um, which just sat perfectly in this bay window. And um, it really, it was one of the wild pieces of the room, wasn't it? 
interesting thing that we've not done before is um, you've actually got some cable points here and here. So what we're actually going to do is put two um, quite cool table lamps either side of the fireplace just to change it up a little bit. Because there's not so much, you don't want lighting in front of the TV and we're quite limited as to where else it can go, we thought it's just quite a nice opportunity just to highlight, you know, this beautiful elevation. And then we've also got some artwork um, going here. The that, yeah, that's another yeah. piece coming from the States. So that's going to um, that's gonna look really good. Another update in the gym is I just got these new rugs come inside um, from Crucial Trading. So extra, but I got a little one for the Peloton as well because I hated the Peloton mat. It was like this black rubber thing, always looked dirty and I just feel like it wasn't the one. Whereas these are just so soft underfoot. They're 100% wool. And I wanted to go slightly more oversized as well because when you're putting your Peloton shoes on and off, you need a little bit of space to be able to do that. I didn't want to ruin the wooden floor. My favorite trick to do is when I have like the joinery team or anyone in here, a builder, and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna move these weights. This one's 24 kilograms and they literally like can't lift it. And then I just go and pretend that it's the easiest thing ever um, to lift. But I've been doing weightlifting for like a couple of years. So you have to build up your strength slowly, but that's 24 and I've just ordered 30 kilograms which is taking forever to come from Amazon. But when that arrives, I'm gonna feel super strong. Can't wait. Looks gonna be deceiving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I really struggled with with gym design, we've designed a lot of gyms for clients as well, is how dark and masculine all the equipment is. It's really hard to find weights. And I know, because I researched. Um, but if you wanna get like proper good weights with a big selection, you basically have to go black or it's like metal, chrome. Um, there really isn't any other options. So one day maybe I'll come out with my own range of weights. But I wanted to balance all that darkness, that industrial feel with some much lighter color palettes that it felt like a calming space because I'm not just wanting to go to the gym and listen to really like loud music. Sometimes I come in here in the morning and I want to do meditation or yoga or Pilates and I wanted it to feel like a restful space that you can ease yourself into the day. Um, so I think it's worked really well actually, although there's a clear contrast between the equipment which is black and then everything else that's very light and earthy and tonal, um, I think they balance each other and it's still a very much hard working gym, but it's also somewhere that you can just come and relax as well, so I love it. So I'm thinking we need some taupe dumbbells potentially? 100%, like every time I look at these I just imagine they're taupe and actually this area is not finished, so this is just my old gym matting, tomorrow I've got a prototype I've designed a wooden weight rack. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've like redrawn this weight rack. Um, but we're doing a prototype because obviously it's got to be able to take a lot of really heavy weight on it. Um, I'm gonna have two. I'm gonna have one for my kettlebells that goes here, and one for the dumbbells. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put on top. Like, only an interior designer would have a roll of leather in their gym. This is normally in here, and basically, on the top of the weight rack, because when the weights go on the weight rack, it's just going to be wood. That will like dent the wood over time. So then we're going to have an inset panel on the top that will have foam, and then it will be covered with this faux leather so that when the weights get put down, it doesn't clang. It just like softly um, gets supported. Um, so that's the plan, is they will sit on this taupe leather in a gorgeous um, oak weight rack that will match all the panelling on the floor before this room was just like an extension of our bedroom. I got really used to working out on carpet and actually really liked it. It just feels really soft and nice underfoot and when you're lying on the floor. Um, so I decided to get this oversized rug and I think it's gonna be great for us because we don't do exercise that makes us sweat a huge amount in here. Um, and it's just like the perfect size and it feels really comfortable, really inviting. It just makes me wanna come in here and exercise. And um, so really excited about that. And I will share the link in the description box if any of you guys are interested. I talk about this brand all the time. It's not an ad, um, but I just think they have really great rugs, crucial trading, and they're at a really good price. And they're all natural fibers, which I love. Um, so yeah, this is the update from my gym. Hope you guys like it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you very soon.